Hey guys, another episode here of Ask the Builder. Today we're gonna to take you through a bathroom renovation. So what we've got here, first thing to do when you come in, we wanna strip out all, the, all of the accessories. The reason we're having problems in this bathroom is because there's no waterproofing. So on the bottom there, you can tell that they've put in some waterproofing at the bottom, just at about 100 mil high. Now, the new standards show that we need to waterproof this whole area to a minimum of 1800 high. So, so we've finished our demolition. Um, we've ripped up the floor bed and we've taken off the waterproofing down the edge. But I just want you to zoom in here. The, the problem with this type of floor, this is what we call um, a yellow tongue floor or a chipboard floor. So normally for building, you can't use these in wet areas. These are usually used it for first floor extensions, for you know, bedrooms, hallways those types of areas. Normally what we would do is in a wet area, we wanna put down either a James Hardy FC sheeting, fiber cement sheeting, or a Skyon product. These products are usually used for wet areas and can withstand moisture. So I just want you to zoom in here. So this is a perfect example um, of, of why we don't use uh, yellow tongue in a bathroom. Basically you can see water rot. This, this floor has dropped about 20 mil. Um, this was the original shower, and as you can see, we've got water rot all in uh, the timbers there. So now that we've taken the old floor up, we've put down our new James Hardy Sky On sheets. So they're an FC product, um, and they're much more suited to a wet area. So the next stage is we're going to set up our PVC angles. This is our set out for our new shower recess. We've had to redo a lot of the plumbing. So most of the plumbing, when you pull up a sheet, you've got to redo the, the flanges. So we've got safe wastes here. Um, I like to use these um, in particular in a shower recess. One being, you, you get funneling water in there. So it means that my waterproofing, my waterproofing can go down inside the drain. So there's no chance that this will ever leak um, if that's done properly. We want to make sure that that's flush or recessed down so that water can go down. Some people install it on top and it creates a five mil lip. Um, that's not going to make water go down. Uh, here we are, so we're up to waterproofing stage. So we've replaced the floor and we've prepped everything. So what we've got here, we've actually put a primer on the wall. Um, we prime all the surfaces, new and old, where we're going to waterproof. So this will be our shower area we need to waterproof right up to this height. So that's what we've done. We've, we've vacuumed the floor. We've, we've put polyurethane around all the joints, as you can see here. We use it as a bond breaker and then we've installed our angles. So we've got our polyurethane in, we've now primed the surfaces and we're ready for our first coat of waterproofing. So we use a product called uh, Davco K10 Plus. We also use bandages for all the internal floor and wall junctions all the joints just to make them rigid and strong. So we'll show you how to do that shortly. So what we're gonna to happen today, we're gonna to lay a sand cement screed over here and get all back to our floor waste. As you can see, we've got our perimeter angle in. The reason we put this in, it, it'll contain most of the water within the shower base. After we've waterproofed, now we've finished our tile. So as you can see here, we've laid our floor tile and our wall tile. Once we've done the wall tiling, we then go around and put in all our fixtures. So as you can see, we've got our double vanity, our toilet, our toilet roll holder, our shower rail. We've just got to connect up the bottom piece. Um, our, our taps are all fitted off, soap holder, towel roll holder. Now, I just want to show you a few little tricks. When you do wall tiling, after the tile is finished, there'll be a film of grout. What you want to do, you want to get a dry rag, clean the tile with a dry rag, just to get all that dust off. What we use is a bit of vinegar on, a, on another cloth. Just dampen the cloth and wipe the tile with some vinegar. So you want to go over your whole bathroom with that and that'll just make sure all of your grout film will come off. There won't be any more grout film and you'll just have a nice wall tile. Now, the finishing touches will be silicon. So what we do, 
We want to finish with a flexible sealant. So in this instance, we've chosen a white silicon because obviously it'll match the white tiles and that'll just maintain a waterproof junction. Um, we want to do that for any vertical joint, any floor joint, and any joint where a tile might meet an architrave around this area. Um, the reason we do that is because you'll always get cracking. A lot of people grout that, we don't want to grout that, that'll always crack over time, so we want to put a, a flexible sealant in there. So pretty much this one's just got to have a bit of a clean down. We'll do a fresh paint on the walls and the ceiling, and then our shower screen will go in, but we'll see you on the next step for that one.